Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Ann Dow, and I am back with another beauty tutorial. I am changing up the background, I got the new feng shui going on, so thumbs up this video if you are feeling it. If you guys want to see how I achieve this overall glam look, stay tuned. So to get my skin hydrated and prep for my makeup look, I'm going to spray the Mario Badesu Rose Water and Herb Spray. This spray is really good for hydrating my skin. I like to use it just as like a beginning or when I put the powder on my skin, it really comes and just refreshes your face. Something about me and rose petals, anything rose petal, I love. So you see how it's just hydrating the skin. Like, how you guys feel about my background? Like, I want to get your honest opinions because I wanted to switch it up and make it more like chill vibe, makeup vibe, and just creating a whole vibe. So, let me know if you guys are feeling it. I found this light, this sleigh light. I forgot to take off my Apple Watch. I'm so addicted to doing the activity on here and calculating my activity. I just started working out three days and now I'm upset with this Apple Watch. Today I'm gonna work out in the afternoon. So I only have three minutes of exercise, but normally at 11 I would have more exercise. So I got this sleigh lights and I got them at TJ Maxx. So when I was going through TJ Maxx, I'm just gonna start my brows. So I went to TJ Maxx to look for a journal because I was starting my new morning routine. I'm just brushing my brows, like because I have bangs, you guys see a look cuter at the end <laughs> because I have bangs I don't really need to pencil in my brows especially since they're microbladed so if I didn't have bangs I'd probably just like touch up a little couple of things but other than that I don't need to do much to my brows I'm just gonna brush the hairs upwards and just make sure that they just look a little more clean I guess I'm using P. Louise in the shade number two I swear to you, if I talk during my eyebrows, I'm going to mess it up. So I don't even talk during them. It's not something you can really talk to it. And I already just messed it up. Like it's not even as crisp. It's not even as straight in the front. Y'all see that in the camera? I feel like that looks noticeable, so I'm just gonna fix it with the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil. Okay, so now that I'm back, brows are on fleek. I just outlined the bottom of them like I was telling you. But back to the story, so I was at TJ Maxx and going there for one thing, and I'm over here in home decor, I'm over here reading planners, I'm over here looking at pots, and I'm smelling the candles. I randomly was going through home decor because it pays off to be everywhere at the right time, and I saw this sleigh light, and it had got marked down. That wasn't the original price, original price but it got marked down from yellow, then went down to red ticket, and it was $5, and I was like, I can't even leave this here. Like, I didn't come, I didn't go there for it, but I couldn't leave without it. So I thought it'd be really cute, so I added her there. You could get real cute on a budget I think like those flowers total probably cost like $20 maybe not even that those flowers totals probably cost like $10 and they're fake flowers so they could just stay like that I don't gotta water them and take care of them um and they're just gonna look pretty and I have my computer and my Sony A5100 back there so let's get into foundation before I make this video so long I'm gonna be going with the ColourPop no filter foundation as you can see I clearly use this a lot so I'm just gonna grab a couple drops of this foundation probably about I would say three drops because I'm not gonna put any foundation on my forehead because I do have some bangs um real quick about this hair this hair is from labello it is a their ask <laughs> ask kaba ask kaba is kaba is kaba is kaba is so it's a bang wig this way is not human hair it's synthetic hair i know i know i was like let me just try it out just to see what it would be like when i ordered it it came very very fast it came in a bag but i'm gonna make a whole review for those wigs so be on the lookout for that if you're interested in that but um i've been feeling really really good i've been getting i've been in such a good like headspace i've been doing my morning routine religiously like i started it my, my morning routine as cliche as it might sound my morning routine was my new year's resolution okay i was like i'm going to do something 
starting January 1st that I'm not gonna quit and with me and New Year's resolution I'm a goddess of my word so whatever I say I'm gonna do I'm going to do I'm just blending that in and first I blend it in with the foundation and then I go back in with the beauty blender what was I talking about <laughs> this is the story of my life oh basically this year I started out doing my morning routine which is pretty long I mean this morning routine takes about two and a half hours and that's on a good day like that's with no that's like not even a good day because the things that I do they like you know important things to do um, so I'm gonna leave some of this foundation here just in case I gotta blend some stuff out but today also I'm gonna be doing a very highlighted contour and highlight I haven't done this type of concealing in a while like probably in about a year or so i've been really doing concealer that was pretty close to my skin tone i do like a more highlighted concealer like i use my concealer for more of a highlight versus a concealer because i feel like like do you i didn't put that much foundation underneath my eyes but you can see that you know my eyes aren't as dark as they were before so i don't really need to use a concealer to conceal so that's why i use my concealer to highlight so the concealer i'm using today to highlight is the tarte shape tape concealer this is in the shade medium she's a really bomb concealer if you're not hip to tart i would say get hip i like her because she is a very very full coverage i mean she's full coverage like when i tell you flawless finish sis comes through and i love how she dries down and she's not like a foundation that gets very very dry very fast so she's very workable that's why i really like her i stopped using her for a little bit but it's like every time I stop using her and I come back to it, it's like the love I have for her grows more. And yeah, I'm talking about my makeup like this because this is how much I love my makeup. Like, it's my boo. They're my boos and my babies. <laughs> so the contour I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Dark 50. These ColourPop concealers, if you are not hip already, I would definitely tell you to pick up these concealers not only are they super easy to work with there's so many different shades in this collection and they are pretty inexpensive so they can work with your budget they can work with any budget all right where's my concealer brush where are you so yeah my morning routine is pretty pretty long <clears throat> It does have me doing some meditation, some journaling. I'm into writing my dreams down because I do have a lot of dreams. And then after that, I do some oracle cards. I'll pull out my oracle card deck and I'll go ahead and I'll do a quick little reading for myself, which basically just gives me some guidance for the day. And then I get into some workout. So first I always do bicycling. I do a home workout, I do some bicycling, then I do some abs, some crunches. This is the abs, the workout part just got added. So I'm not going to front, but the workout part just got added because I was just feeling like everything else in my life was so balanced and I need to work out. Like there's no reason why. Even though I do have a fast metabolism, I still got to work out to just keep in shape and, you know, build some muscle, tone, all that good stuff. Yeah, so that's my morning routine. I've been, feeling, feeling very, I've been feeling very, very good after doing morning routine every single day. And even if it is pretty long, I still, I feel really, really balanced. I feel really capable of doing a lot of stuff. And I find that after I've, you know, added in the workout part of it, I definitely been feeling very, having more energy at night. I find that I've been able to, you know, stay up longer. I've been able to have more patience for myself and for other things. So if you have more routine, Holla at me, let me know. We can talk it through, see what's gonna work best for you because not everything I said that works for me is gonna work for you. So you could just try out some of the things that I listed. So let me tell you guys a couple of pretty cool and dope things that I've been up to lately. I went to a Galentine's event and my friend Shan sell through this event and basically it was 150 women that worked together in a room doing some girly stuff and your girl me got to do um, the makeup demonstration that was happening there. Y'all I was nervous like nobody knew 
because I didn't really tell anybody because I was nervous but not to the point where I needed reassurance like there's a difference I was like this is my first time ever doing a makeup demo in front of anybody normally I'm doing it in front of y'all but it's like I'm still at the end of the day not sitting in front of all of you guys sis I was so nervous and I went up there, I did the demonstration on my model, who was my sister, who is my sister. And it was really, really dope and fun. Like, it was a cool segment. I was so nervous, but I was not about to not do it because I was nervous. Like, we still don't get it done. So, my nose contour is just looking all kinds of weird. I don't know what's happening. But, I just gotta get better at this contour of the nose. Like, child, I'm struggling. So I'm gonna take the ColourPop concealer and this is in the shade Medium Dark 32. I'm using it to just fix my nose contour. My nose contour looking crazy and I think I wanna just highlight my face a little bit more. Chantel always throws some really cool parties though. Like we be having dance class, which is really, really lit. Yo, dance class be so fun. Cause I haven't danced like in a class in so long. Cause I actually, I haven't done like some dance and dancing in a while, like dance class. I used to do dance class back when I was younger, doing a little hip hop and you know, some Sean Paul, yo. I used to, we used to make up some bomb Sean Paul dances. And I'm just gonna blend out the rest with my beauty blender. This is a brand new beauty blender. Like this is the new sponge. Like I don't know how much you guys I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love a new beauty blender. Like, there's nothing better. And just for the record, you could use this dry or you can use it wet. My preference is to use it while it's wet because it just works better and it works easier. When it's like dry and dirty, like this one is so dry and dirty, but it's like this is so much more flexible as far as like what you can actually do. And this is just so dry, you can't really work any concealer or foundation with this so we want we're throwing this away we want this so i'm just gonna blend this out going with the beauty blender second always brings out my makeup and it makes my makeup go from like a eight and a half to a ten when i bring out the sponge because it just helps you if you're not you know experienced at blending out foundations and using brushes to blend them out if you're a beginner beauty blenders will help you have a flawless finish just by tapping i know some people get you know nervous when they see a highlight looking so bright but sis we're gonna add some powder and we are gonna continue contouring so this is nothing to be worried about because i want to be snatched like i don't want to be i don't want to be like not snatched like <laughs> I mean, that's it. I don't want to be not snatched. I want to be snatched. Some of these in Beauty Bakery's Flower Better Not Bitter. This is their setting power, and this is in the color yellow. She's very pretty. This is on my hand. Pen. Go figure. I'm always writing something down. I'm just going to tap that into the lid. So if it's like a salt shaker or like you know any seasoning it has like that opening that you just twist and that's how it comes out and then you could just also lock it which i think is very cool i just feel like it's easier to get my beauty blender into the cap so that's why i put it on the cap but you can do what you like to do and i'm just going to just start placing that lightly first i'm just going to set it make sure everything's locked in and loaded we look good So now that my eyes are set, now I'm gonna go ham. This foundation is so hard. Like, it's so good. It has a yellow undertone, which is perfect. And it doesn't have your makeup like sliding off. Like, it's so good. I'm so happy this foundation found me. And my favorite part about it is I love to use this foundation. Why don't you say foundation? I love to use this setting powder to carve out my contour. Honestly, I probably won't even set that right now. I'm just gonna probably just tap that in. Now I'm gonna set my forehead because I do notice that it's getting a little shiny for no reason. So now I'm extremely, extremely baked, okay? So 
I'm gonna let that set for a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm just gonna let it set just to the point where I could just put on my transition shade. So for my transition shade, I'm using the Morphe 350 palette, and this is by Morphe. You guys might have seen this if you've been watching my videos. I've been using this palette a lot. It's very good for like transition colors. I find that it's also good for fall if you want to do a nice fall makeup look. But it's a pretty neutral palette. And I got this palette when I first started out doing makeup like more seriously. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just going to use this shade to just start just doing a transition color on my lid and I'm just gonna do the transition color on both eyes and then I'm just gonna wipe off the setting powder. I know y'all probably like, girl, you setting today? You don't never set. I don't know, I never set my makeup, but I want a more of a flawless beat today. Not to say that my makeup ain't flawless. So the influencer event, my girl was telling you guys, I was telling you guys about the influencer events, right? So the influencer event was pretty, pretty fun. It was a First Aid Beauty, I got to meet some of the bloggers in Boston. And there's not a lot of beauty bloggers in Boston. And I was trying to figure out why I don't get, I haven't been getting invited to some of the influencer events. And I realized I don't really be hashtagging Boston in any of my posts. So it's not really like you would know that I exist. So I'm gonna start hashtagging Boston more just to get, you know, seen. Um, but it was my, that was my first ever influencer event. And I don't know if you guys ever knew, but I never been to influencer event before. And that was one of my goals last year to go to influencer event. But obviously, I prepared this year and it's February and I went to my first one already. So we crossing that off of my goals so far for the year. We starting off on a good note. And I'm excited to add some more to my roster. And now I'm just gonna go and dust off the setting powder. I'm using this new brush that I have. This brush is from the Bodyography. Um, they are a brand. I got hit to them because I signed up for BoxyCharm and I haven't received a Boxy box in a while now. I think they forgot about me over at BoxyCharm. But if you guys forgot about me, remember I'm still here. I'm still interested. The next step of my makeup is I'm going to take the MAC Prep and Prime. I'm going to do this to just add some life back in my face. My face is very, very dry right now. So I'm just going to just cover my eyes and spray the... I like to use this you see how I look like you know I just worked out like a makeup workout like yes <laughs> so I like to use this prep and prime as a way to bring some light back into my face my face is feeling hella dry and after I spray this it just brings the light back and it just melts the concealer and the foundation together so I love it this is the Derma Brund loose setting powder as you guys can see I use it a lot um, the difference between this setting powder and the Beauty Bakery powder is as you, oops. <laughs> the difference is that this powder is yellow based, so it's going to, if you're by skin tone or you're lighter, a little bit darker than me, this one will work best because you do have a lighter. Anybody can really use this powder. I would say this one is just very, very white and translucent, so you just have to add more color back into your face after using this setting powder. However, I do still love this setting powder, but I do have a new setting powder that is competition competition for this one so we all love friendly competition like y'all both going to get used so for today's eyeshadow look i'm using the ColourPop give it to me straight palette this palette has 12 shades it has some shimmers it has some mattes and i really like it because it's pretty cool like neutral palette so to start this look i'm using matter of fact i'm gonna just place that on top of the original transition color that I use. I forgot this palette had transition colors. So that's why I use the Morphe palette. But matter of fact, it's a really good transition color to kind of create your eyeshadow base with. So basically we're gonna grab Frank and take a smaller tulip size blending brush. This is a Morphe brush M139. I'm just gonna start adding Frank as a transition color to the eye. Just gonna place Frank there. So guys, I got my eyebrows microbladed. Um, did my final retouch this month actually. 
was this month or was it last month? I got my final retouch because you have to go in for two sessions. And I got my final retouch done and now they are done. That's why I don't have to do much work to them. Like I didn't pencil them in outside of like that little bit I did in the front. And they're so easy to deal with when they're microbladed. Like wake up like this vibes. They were really, really dope. I got them done with a DLD brows. I'll put the information down below. So a part of the microblading is that I would shoot with her and we shot a campaign in the pool. So if you guys don't know, your girl cannot swim. So if you guys don't know, I'm I'm gonna learn how to swim. Like that's a goal of mine. To learn how to swim this year. I said that last year, but I really didn't take any action to actually getting it done. Like it was more of like one of those dream goals. And we were shooting in the pool and sis, I can't wait to see those pictures. Like they look so dope. Like you know when you take pics and then you know they're about to be mad dope when you get them? Like I can't wait to see those pictures. But the overall, like it was mad fun. I was in the pool, I was acting like I could swim. I mean, I don't know how to float. I probably just need to just learn how to float first. Cause I'm not afraid of the water. I just haven't had that many experiences where I was like, okay, I'm gonna learn how to swim. Only four feet and it was like, you know, a good time. It was a good vibe. Um, my body was looking real cute in my little white bikini. <laughs> um, so I've been sat with my modeling agency now for about two years. And I've been with them. I've been doing a couple, like the first year I signed with them, I was still, I'm gonna do TMI next. I wasn't really able to do it consistently because I was working full time. So when they would email you, because how it works is that they just email you and actually if you could do something. So, you know, I wasn't really able to do that because, or book any gigs because I was working all the time, full time in the city. So I would miss a lot of opportunities my first year doing it. My second year doing it just so happened to be the year that I decided to, you know, pursue beauty, pursue my career and take everything more seriously and actually go out and do it. So that's when I started to see more results in my, in my actual modeling agency because I was able to actually say yes now versus always you know, them hitting me up and me being like, no, I'm unavailable, no, I'm unavailable. So that was pretty dope. So I've been with them for two years. Last year was really, really fun. I got to do a lot of different cool shoots with Alex and Ani. I got to do some hand modeling, which I didn't even know my hands are that popping, but apparently, apparently they are so in case you guys want to see these are my hands they're looking real cute hi <laughs> i'm modeling myself since i was 18 years old like nobody knew but i mean i've been crying for a while and i would just this is back when people were actually using model mayhem and back then the only way i knew that i could probably get signed or you know into modeling was if i got signed to an agency, so that was my main focus. So I would spend a lot of my time filling out applications with agencies and they wouldn't really get back to me. Like nobody ever got back to me. The only time one person got back to me, they like scammed my mom and I. Like we had to, we paid money without even knowing to do like a portfolio or you're supposed to do, yeah, we pay, I could do like a whole modeling video to be honest. You know, for somebody that did not have an agency, I was doing a lot of things. The only thing was I was not making the coins that I needed to make. And at that point, I was like, my Instagram was starting to boom. And I was like, you know what? Let me get signed to an agency because the way I see that I'm booking these things on myself, I think a re representation would be helpful for me to actually get paid to do certain things. So that's what I did. And that's when I hit up my agency now, which is Maggie's modeling agency based out of Boston, Massachusetts. So if you are in Boston looking for an agency, I would say just submit your, I think they're always accepting models to be honest, but I think you should just submit your application. And so you can never know what's gonna take you or where it's going to go. So I would just say submit it, try it out. I think my one regret is that I waited so long to get signed. Like I was just like, oh, you know, I'm a model, I'm a model, I'm a model. But I think there's a difference that to me, when I got signed versus what I was just telling myself on my model, like actually the experience of the opportunity that he has given me has been amazing. So I've enjoyed the journey so far. Um, and I wanna just build my portfolio more because I feel like I get, you know, a good amount of gigs, but I want to make more. 
So I'm always trying to do more, make more, and experience more, because I deserve more, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we always deserve, I feel like we always deserve, how can I put it? I feel like when you work hard, you just deserve to, you know, get rewarded. And one of the rewards for me is booking more modeling gigs. That's definitely what I want to do. So I, it's just about putting myself out there and, re, you know, building my portfolio, keeping my portfolio fresh and keeping myself open to receiving the blessings coming from all of them is definitely something that I want to do. And I could definitely, if you guys want, I could definitely make up modeling. Like, how has my modeling life been? Um, up until this point <laughs> like now that I think about it, this is a crazy story like one time I had a nip slip and girl I can't even like I can't I'm so I just blended that out to the gauze I mean I'm gonna take the beauty bakery eye cream this is in the shade pancake I love everything about Beauty Breaker and how everything is named after some form of sweet dessert because I love sweet desserts. I just told you guys about cereal, but I love cupcakes and cakes. Okay, so we're doing cupcakes. I want Funfetti cupcake with vanilla and I want the Funfetti sprinkles on them and I want them to be homemade. Um, if we're doing cakes though, I prefer a chocolate cake. I love a chocolate cake with some nice chocolate frosting. Like, love that. Um, I love some Kadita Meister cakes. Um, I am allergic to walnuts though, because if you are ordering that cheesecake, make sure there's no walnuts in it because I just can't. I love chocolate covered strawberry. Let me just, I'm gonna, if I can sit here and tell you guys all day what type of baked goods I like. But for this eye cream, I'm just going to take this finger, this one, and I'm just gonna rub it around in there. And I'm just going to dab that in the middle of my eye because I want to create a cut crease but not a very defined cut crease. These creams are so creamy. Pancake is a great transition if you want to use it, like I said, to just leave it your eye with no shadow or if you want to add some shadow. This is in the shade Pancake and it's by Beauty Bakery. Um, this eye cream is very pigmented. I, this is just like my new like go-to. It's so like workable. And it dries pretty fast. Like this side is already dried. So you can wait till it's dry and then add another layer if you really want the pigment to really, really show. So you guys probably like, when's she gonna wipe off this on her nose? And I'll probably just do it right now, honestly. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna leave it there. I feel like the longer it sets, the better it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna let it set a little bit longer. For the shade, however, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take the color Be Blunt, and I'm going to just add that to the crease that we just cut. It's like a slight cut crease. I feel like it blends really, really well with TMI. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like a very good base. And the thing I like about these ColourPop shimmers is that I can, keep adding and then I'm gonna have a little bit of fallout um but I didn't have any fallout with the with TMI which is a darker shade that is a very pretty color be blunt be blunt with it be blunt with it be blunt with it okay so, so I'm gonna go into my Venus XL2 palette so I'm gonna grab the color Eve it's a shimmer She's so pretty. I'm actually just going to do something I saw Erica LaPearl and Melly Sanchez do, which is just scrape it up a little bit. I'm gonna spray the brush. And I'm gonna grab some of that with the wetness on the brush. And I'm gonna hit the inner tear duct with this. And this is a shade Eve from the Lime Crime palette. I mean, she is a pink shimmer. Like she gets very, very like foily. I think is she, I think she's a foil actually. Sis gets crazy. I'm gonna grab some of that crown just to make her pop just a little bit more. Okay, so we got the top part of our eye down. Now I'm just gonna go and 
And now I'm gonna take some TMI and I'm just going to put it on the bottom of my eye to just bring that out. I feel like my makeup look is not complete unless I kind of kind of smoke the bottom of my eye. It's not a real smoke. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my powder brush again from Biography. I'm gonna get some of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and this is a holy grail. I use this to take off the Derma Blend. Um, it just gives the Derma Blend a color to stick onto and just give me like a flawless finish. This, I, this brush is so like, it just bends, it works with you. It does what you need it to do. Like it just twirls around. This brush is such a good brush to wipe away, wipe away powder or foundation. Next I'm gonna use the EX1 Pure Crush Minerals. This is their powder foundation. It's made with 100% pure mineral base, presides a fresh, flawless coverage and minimalistic looks, and it's enriched with vitamin E and all that good stuff, which means that it's going to be popping on your skin. Um, so I like to use this to kind of just bring out my contour. So I'm just gonna swivel that on there and then just tap off the excess I don't need. And you see how it just does like a, a light, you know, bronzing. Now to line my eyes, I'm gonna use the Bodyography. This is the pencil Black Walnut. This is a really good matte pencil to kind of just line out my waterline to kind of pop out my, pop, I'm so animated, to pop out my bottom waterline. So it does get a little ticklish if, you, if this is something that's new for you. Don't mind my pen, guys. I know everything's supposed to be perfect. <laughs> but you know, as an artist, I write and remember when I journal, so that's why the pen's there. But this is the Bodyography Epic Lash, and this is the Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I mean, look at this wand, though. You guys can see, look at this wand. I feel like this is very old school YouTube. But look at this wand. This wand is so pretty. So I'm just going to just put mascara on my bottom lashes. And I'm gonna take that Epic Mascara and then I'm just going to marry my lashes with these lashes. I love these lashes because they're so flirty. Like they're like I'm here, but I look like like she looks like eyelash extensions. Like she's natural, she's here. They could be yours. You know they have more volume and dimension to them. I love these lashes. These. So that is for the eyes. So now we're gonna get into my favorite part, and that is blush and highlight. Um, before I do that though, I'm just going to line my lips and this is with the NYX pencil. This is in the shade Nutmegs. It's my favorite color um, to use, especially if I'm doing like a peachy pink nude lip. So this is a palette that I'm using. It's catering to you all. Now you can blush, brighten, highlight, and enliven your look with these baked, versatile, highly pigmented, and buildable shades. So this works as a highlight palette and it works as a blush palette. And this is from Beauty Bakery. She's a very cool, and she's called Scoops. So cute. <laughs> and I just put her on, I'm gonna grab the wrong brush. I put her on my cheeks and then I just bar her up to the temples, which you can't even really see because I have bangs. But my next favorite step is some highlights. We are jumping into the Milk and Honey palette. This is again by Beauty Bakery. This palette has four different shimmers. This palette has four different shimmers. It's so creamy, you don't need butter. You have this brush here, and this is like my go to brush for highlight because it just like sits and just like snatches. So we're gonna go and grab. Be sweet. Because we are sweet. Sweet like honey. Sweet like honey, mommy. <laughs> so, back to my modeling career. So, it's going pretty good. The agency is very, very helpful in me finding gigs. Um, but yeah, I want to build up my portfolio so I can get more work. And I actually... 
hit up a agency look at how i'm building up that foundation i mean the highlight i don't know if you can concentrate i can't concentrate because i'm telling this story but i hit up an agency in new york and i submitted a application and i had a so i'm gonna add a little bit of spoiler alert too just because i'm feeling a little bit you know yes i'm ready so and i had a phone interview with them on skype and they didn't hit me back after our phone conversation on Skype. So I was a little bit disappointed about that because I'm like, damn, I really wanted to, you know, get a new agency in a different market and just market myself better amongst the agencies and just do really cool things. So it kind of hurt my, kind of hurt me a little bit, but you know, you gotta take your wins, like your losses. Like I do have a lot of amazing opportunities coming to me and I've had a lot of amazing opportunities. So, you know, you're not gonna get everything in life. So I just took my L in silence. I didn't really tell nobody, but I'm working on just sharing more things with you guys too. And you guys can know a little bit more, more about me. Oh my gosh, this highlight though, sis. Sis, this highlight looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try queen being, what, like what's that look like? I'm just adding different, like, I like queen being because she's like a rosy pink. However, I feel like I'm going to just like burst through your screens and highlight like I'm literally drenching in abundance. Okay, okay. okay. And I'm gonna go in for the lips now. We going, it's the final step. I know I've been talking to you guys' ears off this video. Hopefully you guys like this style. So hopefully I'm not talking your ears off too much because I, you know, once I start going, I kind of just, just keep talking. So I'm gonna go with the Persona Cosmetics. This is their pink, what shade is this? This is their Flamingo Matte. So sis, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. I wanna do the style going forward. So thumbs up this video, let me know your thoughts, comment down below. Also share if you're really feeling it or what else you guys like to see going forward and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.